Uh, Dick Sibley, you are the principal vet at a practice in Devon and you're speaking today at Dare UK's conference on Yona's disease. Can you tell us how important Yona's disease is an issue for the dairy industry? Big. It's important at the moment and it's going to get even more important. It's important for health, welfare, productivity, production efficiency, critically, and it will become a trading issue in the future, I'm sure. And do you think there's uh, sufficient awareness amongst farmers of how Yonas actually affects their businesses? It's certainly a good awareness now of the disease and the impact it can have, but I think what we've heard this morning is that there's a lack of awareness of the uh, impact of subclinical disease. A lot of farms are being affected by this disease and they don't even realise that they've got it. And they're not understanding and recognising the production effects um, on the health, welfare and production efficiency that cows that are subclinically affected by the disease. They, they don't understand the economic costs of having the owner's disease on their farms. And what is the economic cost? Well, in terms of deaths, yes, it's there. Cows die of Yonis disease, but very, very few. The biggest cost is in the production efficiency. So cows, we, have, we learnt this morning, have higher cell counts, much more predisposition to lameness and other diseases, and probably most critically, they get culled early from the herd for having poor yields, high cell counts, chronic lameness and infertility. That's the loss. Any herd that's higher than average of life unacceptably high culling rate should really be looking for Yonis disease yeah, no. as an underlying cause. So how is the industry now addressing this issue? Are we making progress? At individual levels, yes. A lot of farms have, um, are engaged in Yonis control, recognise the problem, and they can see it happen. Strategically and nationally, Dairy UK has formed this Yoni's Action Group, which is doing a fantastic job in increasing awareness, designing and finding new strategies, new help for farmers that will fit any farm in any situation. Even if you haven't got Yoni's, you need to get engaged. And the Dairy UK Yoni's Action Group has recognised all these potential issues and are addressing them well. I think this is moving forward. Now, surely part of the problem is when the cattle are traded. What can be done there? It's a biosecurity problem. Introduction of Yonis onto farms is generally through the purchase of infected cattle. Sometimes it's ten years after you introduce the infected cow that the problem um, becomes evident. But we can reduce that risk quite easily now, not only by identifying cows that are unlikely to have yonis and identifying herds that are relatively free of yonis and are safe to purchase, but also managing cows that come into a herd to stop them from spreading the disease. We have practical solutions for all these problems. We can do it. Dick Sibley, thank you very much indeed.